because you will enjoy it. Or I deserve this. It'll make you feel better. Everyone's doing it. No one will ever know. <laughs> Bible says he was a murderer from the beginning. Never holding the truth. The father of lies. He's good at what he does. Three things that the, 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 the deceiving spirits will do to you. Number one, deceiving spirits will lead you away from God's truth. Deceiving spirits will lead you away from God's truth. Number two, deceiving spirits work through people who claim to represent God. Deceiving spirits work through people who claim to represent God. Y'all better check me out. Y'all better know you got a real preacher. Hope you don't have a deceiving spirit up here preaching and teaching to you. Y'all shouting, running around this church. And you haven't checked out the man that you called to lead and be the bishop of your soul. Thirdly, deceiving spirits are used by God to deceive those who rebel against the truth. Deceiving spirits are used by God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to deceive people who rebel against the truth. He will make you believe that God's word is not the right word. He will make you believe that you have a better way than God's way. He will make you believe that if you can do what you think is right as opposed to what God says is right, you're going to be okay. And God, after you rebel for so long, will allow one to be deceived. In other words, you've been around people who believe their own lie. They lie so much they start bleeding. They just say, I swear, I know I swear. Lying right when they said I swear. Oh, we can't, we can't go for that. We can't go for that. They'll lead you away from the truth. The Bible says these words in verses 1 and 2. He says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Why will they depart, Paul? He says, give ye heed. In other words, adhering to, subjecting themselves to seducing spirits. That is the spirit who leads us into error. Since the Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth, the deceiving spirit is the spirit of error. All right. Since the Holy Spirit is holy, the deceiving spirit is evil. Evil, meaning they, they will get you involved in stuff that's unclean. It's just filthy. You'll call it nasty. Evil spirits hang out in that realm. They get people to engage in stuff that, that, is, that is unclean. Bible even refers to them in various areas as unclean spirits. They will lead you away from the truth, but how they lead you? They're seducers and they have doctrine. Like we have the doctrine of Christ, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, the doctrine of salvation, the doctrine of God, the doctrine of faith, the doctrine of angels, the doctrine of eschatology, the doctrine of the last time. We have our own teachings. Well, evil spirits and seducing spirits have doctrines. And so the only way they can do it is to get an audience. I'm going to say this, and I know it upset some, but I got to say it. Be careful about Oprah's doctrine. I'm just going to put it out there. Y'all do what you want with But I'm doing what God told me. I told you. So you can't say I didn't Be careful of Oprah's Doctrine. Uh, she had Beyonce on her show one time with the Illuminati. And Beyonce says she's this other person when she's dancing and doing all that stuff on the stage. She's not Beyonce. She named the person who causes us to dance like that. Sarah Sasha who? She's Sasha. And she meant that. Because that's probably Sasha for real. And we follow that stuff. And we get way out there. Come to church every Sunday and shout hallelujah. Careful about this kind of stuff. It's real. We only have one protector. That's God. And listen. I can be deceived. I can get caught up. It can happen to me. He said, doctrines of Should govern his own house well. If it's a bishop, 
this now. Watch this, watch this now. He may not be given over to Satan, but he's vulnerable if he doesn't possess the quality. He's just so vulnerable because Satan is so deceptive. I can't express how deceptive he is. I just can't, I can't express really how sharp and astute he is at what he does. Bible says he led Jesus into the wilderness to be tempted. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit led Jesus in the wilderness to be tempted of the evil spirit, Satan. And he confronted him. Under the power of the Holy Spirit, Jesus rejected everything he brought. I mean, he offered Jesus the world. He said, look at all my kingdoms. He says, I got this, A, B, C, D, and E, and I'll give it to you. If you just bow down and worship. Now that was tempting. For me, not for Jesus. But for me, it was tempting. Because when this world and the aesthetics of it is shown to you, all is beauty. You've never been to heaven. You've only been here. Tell me that ain't Satan will do that. He wants to lead us away from God by men whose consciences have been seared as with a hot iron. They're hypocritical liars. They know it. And they're good at it. Con artists approach you with a game. They are articulate. They are well read in their area of study. Oh yeah, they got it down. They know it. They know it from top to bottom. They know it inside out. And if God is not in us, with us, and we are yielded to him, they will get us. Secondly, he works through people who claim to represent God. That's why the Bible here refers to them as hypocrites and liars, the New Living Translation called seducers. Notice in verse number two how King James words it. He says, speaking lies in what? Hypocrisy. Yeah. See, there's a straight liar who know they're a liar and don't mind you knowing they're lying. Straight liar. You know I'm a liar to you. I don't know why you're talking to me. Just straight liar. But then there are hypocritical liars. They try to cover their lies. They make the lie look like it's the truth. Jesus is the shepherd. Yeah. What he's saying is the deceiver. 